Sapient. Sapient. An honest movement in management education. I just like to share the brief idea about the language and logic department which I created and what was the need of creating this language and logic department. You know, we talk about educational purpose and we think that uh, as a teacher I always think that what could be the purpose of your education and how could I as a teacher could enhance the performance of the student. What could I do to bring the self-confidence and the self-respect that in our education system, sadly, that we are losing. So I studied a course in ancient India and found that there were two pillars of any education. The first pillar is self-reliance. The second pillar is self-respect and self-confidence. Now, there is a major problem in education about self-confidence and self-respect because I think that we have lost the self-reliance. Self-reliance means self-dependence. Throughout our education system, we get degrees, we get marks, we get even job also. But throughout the life, we remain dependent on other person to learn everything. We're dependent on them to get knowledge. We're dependent on other person to get, uh, other people to get uh, skills. And this dependency create a helplessness. Because in the real life world, no one is going to come you and tell you that, okay, I'm ready to help you because you're suffering. This could happen in a college. So in real life situation, what brings self-confidence is basically when you are self-reliant, self-dependent. Now, of course, it's again another word that I'm throwing. Without explaining, it will not be justifiable. Now, self-reliance will only come when you have a proper skill, talent, and knowledge. Because without these things, to talk about self-reliance will be hollow. So what I try to do is that is the, I try to find out the core areas that students are lacking in, in spite of that they are getting degree. So first area I thought about is language. Because the language is the first barrier or the first career of your future, however you look at it. If you are not master in it, if you are not expert at it, every step of your life you are going to hamper. And expertise in language will give you command to explore things, to discover things, to go beyond whatever has been given to you. Second thing that I thought, let's say that if you have learned the mastery of the language that is uh, suppose let's, in this case, English. The second thing is, what are you going to talk about? Because most of the time, is people know that how to speak in English. But the second thing that come up is, what they are going to talk? Either they are going to do gossiping, chatting, that's why we are learning English, or are we really in real sense that we are learning communication skills? So I thought, without having a knowledge, a deep knowledge of every areas, you cannot have that communication skill. So I designed around 25 lectures covering almost every area, history, politics, science, religion, social issues, management. So I think that at least you can get a glance of that. Then again, after probing deeply, I came to the conclusion that there's a third, third thing that is needed, and that is thinking mind. Without having a thinking tools, you cannot explore those areas which is unknown to you. You can only explore that area which is known to you by having uh, the textbook that is given to you. So I thought the creativity must be the third part which will make you self-reliant. Now the fourth part that I thought about was logic. You know, logic is pervading in our society. We are playing with the numbers every time and in newspaper, in media, in every chart and statistic and data, we talk about number. But we don't know how to interpret these numbers, how to come to the conclusion. And that is basically, you know, the step that you take from data and facts to information by distilling it, and then you take further distillation and bring it to the knowledge part. Okay, and then for the distillation, you bring it to the idea part. So how that, that step can be taken was my thought of the uh, launching the course on logic. And fifth part, of course, about the meditation. So combining these three, these five parts, I thought that a student at least can stand on its feet and can really become self-dependent. Now. This is not an exhaustive list. I'm still working on an area that I can think in the future could help students. So this was a brief introduction that what I'm doing in this college and how this the idea of language and logic came up.